used car market finally peaked, are prices ready to come down? Is that EK hatch with rusted quarters and a salvage title worth $6,000? No. Today we're talking about all that and more. Stay tuned. Mark and this is HSG and just to let you know before we get started into today's video the giveaway for the EF hatches still open there are less than a hundred stickers available so grab one while you can I'm going to announce now the second third fourth and fifth place prizes second place is going to be a Jack Spania turbo third place is going to be a JDI ghost box fourth place is going to be a resto tuner hair package with uh, hardware stuff like that fifth place you're gonna get your money back for whatever you spent giveaway ends next Monday at midnight there's less than a hundred stickers available so pick one up now hondastreetgarage.com or dammitboy.bigcartel.com so let's get into this the car market the used car market it has been insane and it's been insane for a while part of the thing that's got me all jacked up about this is because i've been looking for the next project my next car that i want to build on the channel so based on whatever i find in the right color you know cleanliness that's what i'm going to go with so i'm not here to announce what my next project car is going to be yet but I've been looking. Now, as I've been looking through Marketplace, I've actually been looking for quite a while. And I'm sure if you've been on Facebook Marketplace, you've noticed something that I've definitely noticed, which is prices are way too high in general. Now, if you come across a very nice, well-built car that seems to be in the $10,000, $15,000 range, and it's worth every penny, that by all means makes total sense. If you have a car that is fully painted, well done, case swap, turbo with AC and all of that stuff, Stuff, nice interior, nothing missing, no salvage title, no rusty quarters or anything like that, then that's clearly worth a pretty penny. But cars that are absolute shit boxes are listed for really stupid amounts of money. And I don't know why. When I go to search for an Integra, I keep coming across cars that are priced around the $4,000 to $6,000 range. However, they're in very bad shape. I'm not one that's ever shied away from paying a high price for something, but if it's not worth it, it's not worth it. In the grand scheme of things, to pick a car that needs a lot of work is always going to be costly on the other end. How do we know that the market is, is still going to rise or if it's peaking or if it's dropping? Well, shout out to S3 Magazine, Wooly and the guys over there. I love what they do with their podcasts and stuff like that where they're talking about EVs and the car market in general. So one of the big markers for the car market in general has always been in the last couple of years, Carvana. Now, if you don't know what Carvana is, you must be living under a rock. What Carvana did was is they basically just went on a spending spree for growth because they saw a post COVID world and they thought that every Everything is going to be separated and no one's going to go to dealerships anymore. The personnel -less car buying experience was, was something that they bet on and they thought was going to grow. And a lot of other car companies as well followed suit like CarMax and a lot of other companies. They were buying cars at, at more value than that they were worth. And a lot of people did really well to sell their car because they got in at 2018, 2019 prices. And it was one of the things that I actually almost uh, did for a minute there because when I, I have a 2019 Civic FK7, I almost just sold the car because I would have made good money on it. However, the big problem was, at the time was, well, what else am I gonna get? You know, I've been a huge fan of the Honda Fit for years and I've been wanting to get a Fit. And of course, looking at sites like CarMax or Carvana or something would naturally just be something I, I would, you know, come across and look at. With that being said, I would see the prices of, say, my particular Honda Fit that I really want is like a 2018 Fit Sport and, you know, brand new from off the lot, they were $18,000. And you know, you go to those sites and you find them, they have 20, 30, 40,000 miles on them. They're selling for 22, 23, 24,000. And you're like, what is happening? 
happening here. So not only are interest rates really high, but as at the same time, you know, the prices of the cars obviously have been extremely high. So that also affects the private market of people thinking, well, prices are up. So I'm just going to list my car for $4,000, even though it's worth 1500 bucks or my car's worth $4,000. So I'm going to list it for six or seven. Part of that, I do understand the ideology of, hey, let me get the, the most money I can for my car. A lot of that stuff makes sense. And of course, if you've been building cars or in the car scene for a while, you know that even parts have skyrocketed, gauge clusters, transmissions, engines, everything has gotten more and more expensive. As an enthusiast moving forward, it's very difficult to try to really make the choices that I need to make moving forward and doing this. Basically, if you haven't paid attention, the stock market has not been doing super great, but also Carvana stock is dropping more and more and more. So eventually what that means is people aren't buying their cars. That's what that means. Not to mention there's a bunch of other things about Carvana that could be a good or bad experience, whatever. Everything from people not getting their titles on time to people getting vehicles that are not in great shape or you know they're in worse condition than advertised. There's there's all that stuff surrounding Carvana as well. The issue is is that right now, you know, those companies like CarMax and Carvana, they're the barometer of what cars are being valued at. And so just like eBay for a lot of car parts is essentially the barometer of what the price tag is. That's kind of where we're at, but the big problem that we're seeing is, for example, on eBay, if you want to buy a car part, the fees associated with selling things on eBay are so expensive that the sellers are having to ask for a high price to make any money at all. Whereas Carvana is in sort of the same boat, but eventually they're gonna have to move these cars. They're going to have to sell them at a loss or something because people aren't buying them. And then when you look at the new car market, you know, new cars are starting to roll in. And obviously if you've seen the prices of new Civics, they are astronomical, it's insane. And then of course with the Type R rolling out, the new Type R, the dealerships are marking these cars up at, at insane markups, not to mention Nissans and all the other brands as well that are doing it. But the problem with that is that it's essentially the dealerships doing it, not the manufacturers. Why is that? Well, I think part of the reason why that is is because flip culture has infiltrated just about every facet of our capitalist society. Now, do I think that capitalism is bad and all that stuff? No. I personally feel that if something's worth something, you should you should pay what it's worth. But obviously, where we all get upset and where we where we where we all have a problem is when we see something that's clearly not worth a certain amount that someone might be asking for. At the end of the day, anybody who is selling something, that owner can ask whatever price that they want for that, you know, for their item. However, it's only worth what someone will pay for it. The flip side of that is they may never sell it at all or they'll have to drop their price, obviously. Personally, I think we're starting to see a fever pitch as things have started to, you know, get back to normal in a, in a certain way sort of, you know, COVID, referring to COVID and all that, things are getting back to normal. But at the same time, you can't deny that inflation is bananas right now. Gas is bananas. Diesel is running out. Food is super expensive. And we're just dealing with all of these things and what's what's going to get cut. I mean, there's now the market is over flooded with used cars at this point, And I think prices will come down. And I think that's a good thing. And that's good news. Of course, for the rare stuff, for the things that are pure, enthusiast vehicles or enthusiast parts that people are really trying to get a hold of and that they're rare and all of that stuff. Of course, those are always going to pull a premium price. That That's just the way it is. And as far as the Honda market, it's hard to say because, you know, the golden era Hondas really are special. However, the newer generation may not care about them. So it's, it's all of the older generation guys like myself and, you know, guys in my sort of age bracket that grew up through the 80s and 90s and, you know, in 2000s and got to experience these cars in a way that a lot of other people really didn't get to experience them. Nostalgia is a thing that, you know, kind of pops up in our, in, in our older age and we want to experience those things that we experienced when we were younger. We want to relive 
of that. You know, when I was younger, I couldn't get a hold of a Honda Civic SI. I remember when the EM1 Honda Civic SI came out with the B16, and I was like, I give anything to have one of those. Now I'm at the point where I can have one of those. But you know, technology has moved on. There is better other options, and as I've grown older, my tastes have changed. With all of that being said, what do you guys think about the car market? Is it completely out of control and insane? I think so. What do you guys think about this? I know this is kind of a short little rant video. Next week's video is going to be really special. I cannot wait for next week's video. So that one's going to be good. We're going to be out of town and going and visiting a friend and looking at a very special car next week. Stay tuned for that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And also, don't miss your opportunity on the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.